All right, Shalom, before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Rosh, the wonders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all elect Akim Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. All right, hey, you already know what it is, you know, do throw in my two cents dealing with this topic. Right, and this guy, see, Kevin Tazariak, right, this, his statement here, this is a result of, you know, a, you know, brothers, you know, everybody coming at it, you know, from their angle, you know, obviously, you know, in other camps, here at Great Millstone, we're very strict for good reason. Because when you look at the example of the fallout of One West, as our apostles tell us, one of the major things was the fact of, uh, you know, women. That was a big thing, right? So here, our apostles have raised us up and reared us up in the way of the old way of the scriptures of our dealings with women. And we are not soft on women just because they have a birthing canal. Uh, and you see this guy over here, you know, to appease the women, he and men of other camps have said things that are softer and tried to water down the scriptures to be more appealing. Okay, and we're not here for none of that. Okay, if a, the true sisters that are going to be saved, they don't need the scriptures watered down. Okay, the, the harlots who are just around with head wraps and fringes need it to be watered down. Otherwise, they ain't going to tolerate no nigga telling them what to do. All right, so this this guy here, y'all, this is a case of just trying to be too deep. Trying to be too deep, right? And watering down the scriptures to appease the ears of a woman. And we don't do none of that. So I'm going to let him speak. We're going to get some scriptures. And we're going to go look at the proper understanding of that verse. Because the verse itself explains to you the true meaning of it, Okay. Y'all know what it is. Let's go. That's it. And then y'all talk about the women in the Bible. What is the strongest thing outside of God in the Bible? Above man or anything else? What is the strongest thing? Do y'all know? A woman. Yeah, so right. shut up with that bullshit. When you go in the first Ezra, stop. When you go in the first Ezra, the third chapter, it says the only thing stronger on the planet is the, uh, than a woman is the most high. So when y'all saying that, y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures. Where right there, I would see. I would have grabbed the mic and threw it in the air. Well, he wouldn't have been able to keep talking that silliness. He's incorrectly breaking that scripture down. Okay, it tells you what the strongest is now yes do women have a powerful effect on a man's mind all right yes without a doubt women have the ability to manipulate men and the heavenly father gave them that tool they're not physically stronger than us faster than us and more they're not more intelligent than us their reaction time is slower than ours but they have the ability to manipulate a man why because men want sex and desire a woman's beauty Therefore, they are capable to manipulate. But the woman is not the strongest thing on the earth. That scripture clearly tells you what the strongest is. And we'll go to it in a second. So he prop he purposely broke this down wrong so that he could big up women. And that is the spirit of, you know, Queen of Heaven worship that was produced in many Israelite men growing up here in Babylon. Okay. Talks about, I'm, I'm thinking done this subject. Y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures when it talks about how bad a woman is when a woman can be bad. A man can be bad. But the scriptures say a virtuous woman is above prices above rubies. So you can't pick and choose and cherry pick what you want to do to fit your argument. We give one thing I love about that Bible, it gives the whole spectrum. It don't just talk about the goodness of either of us. Male, female. Israel is one of the most destructive forces in the Bible. And that's our records. It's a Welcome to another so video. You know, so there you go. All right. And, and if, if you if you're running around the planet Earth looking for a virtuous woman, nigga, you're going to be running to the kingdom. <laughs> you're going to be running to the kingdom. Here it is. Men of the Lord have said, you know, oh, wretched man that I am. Our righteousness are as filthy rags. And you run around here looking for Sister Sarah. Nigga, please. All right. The men will be restored fully in the kingdom of heaven and our sisters will be restored fully in the kingdom of heaven. And. If you are trying to make a man see something other than that, you're a fool. Okay. This is gonna be first address four. We could we could easily start, we could start, we could start all over the place, right? You know what? Let me see. This ain't too many verses. This ain't too many verses. I wanna see. I wanna get the exact uh okay, perfect. We'll come back to that. 
Uh, perfect. Yep. So we're gonna read down for a minute, y'all. So let's get the whole let's get the whole parable. First Edges four and thirteen. It says, "Then the third, who had spoken of women and of the truth, this was Zerubbabel, uh, began to speak." All right. So you have three Israelite men who put letters under the pillow of the king of uh, uh, under the uh, Salakia. I was about to say Assyria, Salakia. Um, Uh, un under Darius, uh, they put it under uh, Darius's pillow. King of the uh, current, the current king of Media and Persia. All right. So coming back, first Edges four and thirteen, uh, fourteen. Salakia. It says, "O ye men," uh, and this is the third letter. Salakia. Uh, uh, the three men put up three different things of what they thought the strongest was. So we're, let's see. It says, "O ye men, it is not the great king nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth." Who is it then that ruleth over them? Or hath the lordship over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards, from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men, and without women cannot men be. Yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver, or any goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely? And favor and beauty, uh, and letting all those things go, do they not gape, and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her, and have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? Okay, so right here you're seeing in these verses the sway that women have over a man's mind, which is true. Yes, they have. They're the overarching plot is as a man you know are you gonna fold to a bitch or not right going all the way back to what the garden dealing with adam and eve adam fell he hearkened unto his woman which was he was uh, which he was not supposed to so this is just laying out the lines that the woman lays in a man's life you know they, they do things for us right they have power over our minds if you submit to them but it, at the end of the day, who truly is it the uh, is the strongest? All right, let's find out. Let's keep reading. Verse twenty: A man leaveth his own father that brought him up, and his own country, and cleaveth unto his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife, uh, and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country. By this also, uh, ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sell upon the sea and upon rivers, and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness, and when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and became servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? So once again, he, he's, he's just going down the list of how men are easily manipulated by women and, and do things that they should not to gain a woman's love and affection. This much is true. Uh, uh, verse 29, it says, and now he's about to make an example dealing with the king, him personally. It says, Yet did I see him in Apame, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admirable Batakis, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter, that she might be reconciled to him again. O ye men! How can it be but women should be strong, seeing they do thus? Then the king and the princes looked up one upon another, so he began to speak of the truth. So women have power and sway over a man, yes. But now we're going to, we're going to learn about what? The truth. Verse 34, O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven, swift is the son of his, in his course. For he compasseth the heavens round about and fetcheth his course again to his own place in one day. And this verse right here shows uh, 
geocentrism, the fact that the sun moves around the earth, not us, the earth, moving around the sun, contrary to what the white man tell you. Okay, so just get side note, you know, verse 35, is he not great that make it these things? Therefore, great is the truth and stronger than all things. So that is the true answer. The truth is the strongest. You have the heavenly father. You have Yahweh Shai. You have the archangels, right? The uh, uh, 24 elders, right? All the, 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 the spiritual uh, uh, ornament that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set up in the heavens. And then what? Then you have the truth. Then you have men, women, and then children. That is the proper order. The truth is the greatest thing on this earth outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the spiritual bodies. That is the correct answer. Okay. But he uh, he actually did, it's actually funny, he did what? He did verse 31. He was fain to flatter him damn his damn self. So he can lure in more women, which is fine. You know, do whatever works. And when the destruction comes, we're gonna see who's left standing. Because teaching this truth is what is <laughs> what's most important. Ain't that something? And here it is. Hey, the sisters over here at Great Millstone, they do what they're supposed to as women. They stay out of the way and don't cause no problems. They say Shalom, peace, brother, peace, king, edifying lesson, and don't cause no drama as they should be doing. And they will be rewarded in the kingdom. Why? Because they understand that the truth is of what's important or is of what is, is what is, damn it, is of importance. Not trying to be all up in everybody's face, right? Verse 36, and all the earth crieth upon the truth, and the heavens blesseth it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, all the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works, and there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong, it liveth and conquereth forevermore. So that's the answer, God damn it. Okay? That's the answer. Matter of fact, get one more verse. One, one more one more again. Verse 41, and with that he held his peace, uh, peace. And all the people then shouted and said, Great is truth and mighty above all things. They didn't say women, they said great is truth. Because literally, y'all, just a, a fact. Ain't nothing better than reality. Okay, what, what? Water is wet. Fire is hot. A car driving at you at 70 miles per hour will kill you. Jumping off of a cliff, you will die. Okay? Vegetables are good for you. Fruit are, is good for you. These are truths that make up our reality. And when you do the opposite of these truths, what do you have? A lie. And what does lies bring? Sin. What does sin bring? Death. Okay? Truth is above all. That's the proper answer. But when you're trying to placate to women, you'll say things like that. All right. And to to what he was saying, yes, are, do you have balance in the scriptures, both wicked men and wicked women? Yes. OK. But the overarching thing is and I don't like to use the word, but uh, but. You have examples of both in the scriptures, wicked men and righteous men, wicked women, and righteous women. What is above them all? The truth, okay? Uh, there was a particular comment on one of these videos somebody saw, let me see. Uh, praise to Bible. Short, it came from Sarnetta Studios. Uh, basically listened to it, watched it earlier. Today. Lord, what for the demon? Now one brother, <laughs> Elder Yashua described, he said this dude is basically just a politician. In which, but, I, but that's not what the scriptures talk about. Now, he made a reference to... Okay, Khan, yep, the brother, elder brother Manatza Zakba went to it himself. But there was a comment somebody made on that video, uh, unstudied nigga. Somebody said, you, can, I can't, I, you can't find one wicked woman in the Bible. Nigga, you've never read, you ain't been through the first, you ain't been through Genesis, homie. You ain't been through the first four chapters of Genesis because Eve went off, right? And so... Basically, now, we don't do these things to just, we don't just run around belittling women. 
But the fact of the matter is, y'all, in modern day society, women have been bigged up. So we have to remind them of their place so that things can be in order because this world is out of order. So when you go around promoting to the woman to be disorderly, you build a foundation of chaos ready to boil over. All right. And when you're trying to speak and be deeper than you are, you'll say stupid shit like that so you can come off as deep. And, and, and where has it gotten you every time we at your door? Letting you know to be quiet. <laughs> First Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Why must women be in obedience? Because women have sway over a man's mind. And if women are not in order, then men will not be in order. And if neither of those are in order, then what is not being received? The truth. Because the truth is what's above all okay we're not hard on women just because we're fucking dickheads we're hard on women because if we're not that will get in front of that will get in the way of edification what is edification the truth understanding these scriptures okay and it takes a real man with some swing and, with a swinging sack and a stick to have to be able to say that and not have any problem with it and you come back here and you see that this man wanted to water down the word to appease the women. And we're not about none of that at all, nor will ever be. First Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. All right, this is the order, okay? Women have the ability to manipulate men. Let me say this. Women have the ability to manipulate a man when he is weak. But when a man, when a man is strong, he cannot be manipulated by a woman. Okay. So Tazariak, if you're going to bring that verse out, you need to bring it out properly. Don't don't kowtow with it. Because we have all the verses in the world that let us know that women are to be in order, that they are what right here in particular. Okay. Jake, boy, Jake could say anything to, 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 for the honeys, for the honey bunnies. Jake could say anything for the honey bunnies. <laughs> uh, first Peter three and five for after this matter in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in Yahweh or adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. Okay. That's why we're hard on women, because we are reminding them of the nature that they must return to if they want to be saved. The modern woman knows nothing about subjection to a man, which is why when you get on the Internet, especially black people Internet, what is all the talk of the town? Oh, nigga, you broke. Uh, nigga, you dusty. Uh, nigga, if you can't do this, then you can't get what's that? Uh, uh, what's that song? Uh. Uh, he's in his passenger, uh, uh, he's in his best friends, right? Trying to holler at me. Uh, uh, Y'all know the damn song. Here it is. You could be the passenger seat. You could be posted up with your homie in the passenger seat of a fucking Bugatti. But he lame. Bitch, by proxy, if I'm with my homie, we <laughs> we both are all right. But, but that's, you know, once again, the woman worship spirit. Running around having to please the woman. Well, the scriptures don't deal with that. The scriptures deal with the opposite. It's the woman's job. To appease and please the man, because when she does that, the household is in order, protected, and guided by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. When anything other than that is happening, you have disorder, death, and chaos. First Peter three and six. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well. So you're only a daughter of Sarah, as long as ye do well. How do you do well? By subjecting yourself to your husband. And for you sisters who are not taken currently subjecting yourself to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai because you soon will be given a husband. Uh, Slack it. No, you will be given to a husband for the sake of your salvation and you will have sister wives because when there's no more internet, running water, and uh, toilet paper, everybody going to be wishing that they uh, had a good man to keep them alive, a good man of the Lord, okay? As long as you do well, that's the qualification and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs 
together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered and that right there so on the man's part we knowing that they're weaker literally they're weaker mentally and they're weaker physically uh we have to deal with them in a certain way you know they'll cry if you get to talking to them rough you know you can't you can't you can't go play basketball with them like you can with the boys so knowing this you have them in their feminine womanly order all right you don't uh now that doesn't mean that you and which you know which he's doing here he's watering down the word <laughs> to them because they're weaker and now we're not gonna do that all right showing her the honor as the weaker vessel simply you know women are women they're emotional creatures you know they can trip they go on their cycles us men knowing this you know you you, you use certain words with them you know you, you know get, show them they love language right you know you, you know your woman like being hugged a couple days out the week you know give a woman a hug simple shit right but we're not about to lie and we're not about to tell the opposite of the truth to please no woman that's where we draw the line in the sand, especially here at Great Millstone. That's why you niggas got a problem with us. Because <laughs> we raw, rugged, truthful, and, st and still have wives. And y'all had to do all that lying. <laughs> and, where, and where it didn't got you. Let me take it back, man. That's like you. This is bullshit, Tazariak. A person who's claimed to be an elder and a captain, you should know how to properly break that scripture down. And you should very well know that the words that you chose to use, uh, and which he knows what he's doing, but the words that he chose to use to break that down, he knows that that was going to bolster the mindset of certain women, right? So they're now, they don't want to be humble no more. Now they want to be loud and brash. All right, you know Dan. You know damn well that that was going to cause women to be out of order, okay? And so you can pull them into your flock at the sacrifice of what of brothers. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. Teaching women like that is is what causes hell in the house. I'm strong because what's she gonna do? I'm I'm. You know the scriptures say I'm the strongest outside of God. You gonna you better recognize, nigga. You know now she in your face talking all that. And who, because she was watching this nigga behind your back. So now she running with his steam. Nigga, the scriptures say I'm the strongest, nigga. You better, uh, come on, bitch. Uh, and please, I wish a woman would talk to me like that, boy. That's it. And then y'all talk about the women in the Bible. What is the strongest thing outside of God in the Bible? Above man or anything else? What is the strongest thing? Do y'all know? The truth. He was supposed to say the truth, and he said women. So he's incorrect. So let's do this. We're going to get a couple more. That's about it. I ain't going to keep ranting, y'all. The truth is above women. That's the proper answer. Do women have... I, I can. I say it honestly and openly. Ain't no issue. Yes. Do women have the ability to manipulate men? Yes. When? Only when they're weak, nigga. How about that? <laughs> the truth is the strongest of all. And when you look at... You look at many of the examples in the scriptures, right... With men and women and their downfall, you look at Adam and Eve. You know, she came to him with the philosophies of the serpents, the dealings of the other peoples of the, in the garden. Uh, you look at King David committing adultery. You look at Solomon committing idolatry, right? What happened? The men got weak. Then they behested unto a woman or unto a woman. So they forgot about the truth. They neglected what was right, the right thing to do, and they became weak, okay? So what is the strongest? The truth is the strongest. Woman can only get to you when you're weak. But when you have the truth of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai and you walk in it, can't nothing get to you. The fuck is you talking about? Tazariak, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked one thy ways. And that's exactly what he did in that clip, man. Trimming your ways to seek love from some women that didn't been mm, uh hurt some feelings uh hurt some feelings uh hurt your feelings <laughs> trying to please and that's the th these women of today they're not the women of old it's not like it's not like we out here arguing over sarah we are man come on y'all and you know you know not you know hey sisters you know don't get offended y'all know what it is right but it's not like we're we're not out here arguing over 
you know, fighting over Rebecca and Sarah and Rachel and Leah. We out here fighting over y'all boys out here fight, trying to fight over Keisha, Jarquita, uh, 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 Shara, Keisha and them, man. Dude, come on, bro. Come on. I'm going to just leave it there. That's it, y'all. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakurash, the wanders to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just had to get one more, man, because he, he, pur he purposely he purposely misspoke to lead folk away. All right. Second Timothy 3 and 5, having a form of godliness. So he appears to be a man of the Lord, right? They call him Captain Tazariac, right? And not only him, but, you know, obviously false teachers who do this on purpose. It says, but, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. And that's what he was doing, man. He was smooth talking to lead folk away in the shit that they want to hear. Uh, what was that? Isaiah 30 and 10. Would say to the, uh, matter of fact, I'm almost done, y'all. I, I know what I said, but I'm almost done. Isaiah 30 and 10, uh, 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seer, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Okay, so that's what they want to hear. And we at Great Millstone, we ain't giving nobody that. We ain't prophesying deceits. We're not watering down this message for nobody. All right, so, hey, that's it, y'all. Hey, don't listen to this guy. Shalom.